Hey everyone, so uh, today I want to do a little demo on the new jousting area for Arketh PW. So I uh, spent about the last week uh, coding this all up and making sure it works flawlessly and it's a really nice experience in the game. Uh, this is in my test module, so but it's exactly the same. Uh, it's exactly the same in the official running module. So uh, here we go. So here's what we got. Here's me. I am a crappy. No, let me show you here. I'm a six level barbarian, 19 strength. Uh, well, none of that really matters. All that really matters is dexterity. And um, what we really focus on in jousting is concentration. So I got three. And where is it? Where is my ride skill? There it is, and three ride skill. So that's what we want there. Uh, ride skill and concentration for, are the two main skills uh, that we're after for jousting. Um, other things that matter are, let's go from the top here. So your strategy makes a big difference. Uh, your level and experience makes a big difference. Uh, your dexterity mod, your base AC, which is uh, whatever's on your torso. Um, uh, as I mentioned, your ranks in concentration and your ranks in riding skill, uh, and a random dice roll of 1d20. So the most, the two most important factors are probably experience and strategy. They're very important to the to the boats. So here we go. Here's uh, some competitors. Here's a horse. Here's the Black Knight. Here's a uh, Castan the Knight. Uh, you'll see him in the real module. He's around. Uh, here is uh, Delaran. He's the guy we're going to fight here in the demo. And here's uh, Adamar. And this little guy here is the squire. And he, his job mainly is to outfit your horse and to bring you a lance if your lance breaks during the joust, which is really cool. I thought that was a really neat feature to add. Took forever, but finally got him to do what I wanted. So here we go. We'll have a little chat with him. So, uh, yes, sir, Dutteridge, how can I assist you? So he say, I would like to choose new colors for my steed this evening, or for, for this event. So you can just click on whatever set you like. So, for example, I like to fit my steed in purple, and you just click that, and there you go. Now you have purple barding. Okay, or I prefer another color set. Let's go down to red and brown brick. There we go. Or another color set, you can pick whatever you like. Here we go. Fluorescent, this one my daughter likes. But for today's demo, we're going to go with black and gold on black. Here we go. Done. Thank you, little boy. Okay. And then we can go to the beginning of the list here. So for those of you who don't know how a joust works, it's basically these uh, two competitors. We're going to charge down this uh, split here, and that's called a list in jousting. And they're going to hold these long sticks, as some people call them, also known as lance. <laughs> and we're going to try to stab each other in the chest with them and knock each other off the horse. Or you can target their, well, you can't target, but hopefully you could hit them in the head. You can target for it. And this guy here is the trumpeter. So he's going to play the trumpet at the beginning of each bout. And he's also the guy that sets up who you want to fight for now. So during tournaments, which I'm going to code later on, he won't be responsible for letting you pick anything. The tournament will determine who's going to fight at what point and give rankings accordingly. So, But in this demo, he's going to let us choose who we want. And since my guy is really bad, not even a fighter, he uh, has to take on the weakest opponent or I'll just get slaughtered. And I'll probably get slaughtered anyway. So here we go with the demo. Oop. Run into the list there. Okay, so you just walk over here, talk to this man. Okay, would you like to compete in the joust? Yes, I would like to compete in this event. Okay, do you have proper title and peerage? So for now in the module, until we get it ironed out a little bit more, uh, you're going to have to 
show, uh, right now you don't have to, but you're, soon you're going to have to show your peerage and show that you're a nobility. So in our world you can register as a noble at uh, various city uh, halls and you won't be able to compete in this unless you're a noble. Or B, you have someone, uh, typically a thieves guild or something like that, will be able to make you some forged documents and then you can come in the joust without even being a noble, which costs a lot of money. So. Most people won't be able to do that for a long time. So you just say, yes, here you go, and he will read over your credentials. There we go, and he's satisfied with them, then he'll let you continue. And then you can pick who you want to chose. So basically, for now, I've just added the rankings right behind him. So you can see that Sir Deloran is the easiest of the three knights that I can fight. Sir Kistan is medium difficulty, and Sir Adamar is hard. So that's based on a whole bunch, like a s overall CR for jousting only. Not necessarily their actual combat uh, skill. So we're going to fight Sir Deloran. So there we go. So we're at the beginning of the tilt now. Each round is called a tilt in jousting. And here's what you can do. A wise choice will increase your chance of success while a poor strategy will hinder it so these are your strategies you can choose from one to eight and each one targets a different point on the shield or as you can see number one is the helmet so we're gonna go for uh, and you can look these up on Google just uh, just Google um, jousting shield targets something like that and you'll find it and you can learn about that and this is based on your strategy, your offensive strategy, versus your opponent's defensive strategy. And it gives a bonus from 0 to 10 points. Uh, level gives a uh, various bonus. I'm not going to tell you what. You can learn that during the game. Uh, your dexterity modifier should be self-explanatory. Uh, your AC from 0 to 8. And maybe magical is included. I'm not sure on that, but it's base anyway. Uh, and your ranks and concentration. Uh, for example, one of my characters online has is a wizard and has 20 concentration. Or sorry, is a cleric has 20 concentration. So that roll is random. So it's going to roll from zero to 20. So that keeps a little more guessing to the game. Um, and your random d20 is on top of that so for now it's very important to pick a good strategy because that's a free 10 points if you guess perfectly against your opponent so I'm gonna go uh, shield fest pale and you can learn your own strategies and figure out which works for you uh, I'm not very good at this yet so it's pretty much a random guess but if you're learning your opponent maybe they have a strategy that they lean towards all the time I've coded that in there and you can figure them out a little better okay so shield fest pale and then your opponent is set and ready to charge you had better prepare your mind and how you want to defend yourself so you can choose steady seat uh, shield high or shield low so that's again up to you for preference I like shield high although um, you get a better chance on, I believe, shield low for having better bonuses, but you have a better average on shield high. So I'll post all that on the website if you guys want to uh, check all that stuff out. It's down below in the comments. Okay, here we go, shield high. And then your opponent has begun their approach. It is time to charge into the tilt. Here we go. got me okay so I didn't get knocked off my horse but it, it was probably pretty close so your opponent, opponent has scored two points on you so each bout oh he's laughing at me they make fun of you too if you suck so and they also compliment you if you're doing well and then at the end of each tilt you get to re-choose your strategies again and you can also move around your camera at this point and only this point so if you want to forfeit because you think you're going to lose and you don't want to be embarrassed, you can walk down to your opponent and tell him you want to forfeit. Um, if you want to change, for example, right now you wanted to change the way your horse looks for some reason, you can go over and talk to the little boy and get refitted right now. But then you lose this dialogue. You would have to go down to that uh, knight down there and ask him to continue the joust if his dialogue goes off. So, 
Anyway, we don't need it to go off because we're just going to choose and go again here. So remember, each bout goes to 10 points, and that's what we're looking for. The two greatest point givers are uh, dismount. So if you take your opponent off their horse, it's 5 points. And if you break your lance, it's also 5 points. So you can win a bout in one pass by breaking and dismounting. So that's pretty rare, but it can happen against better knights more frequently. So. And here we go. I'm going to pick uh, Sinister Chief and Steady Seat. And off we go. Come on, come on, come on. We need a good strike here. Oh, he got me again. Damn it. As I said, I suck, so. Okay, so he has, so he just glanced me that time and got one single point. A glance is one point. Uh, helmet contact is two points. Okay. And breaking a lance, as I mentioned a minute ago, is always five points, but it's stacked on top of whatever happened during it. So, for example, that he glanced me, but if he broke his lance doing a glance, he would get an additional five points. So he's got three points right now, I believe. Two on the first pass, one on that pass. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we both. Huh. That's very rare. That means that pretty much the numbers lined up exactly the same. Super rare. Yeah, we'll see. He's kind of dissing me there. Okay. So, that was a draw. No points to either side. That's super rare. I'm glad that's on uh, film here. <laughs> Barely ever happens. Ah, oh, he got me again. This is a fairly long uh, boat. So there you go. He's got a total of four points now. Tells me to keep on trying. You're bound to get better. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. <laughs> so that's also something you should mention. Uh, during these bouts, you actually, if you win, you'll earn some experience. So that's kind of nice. You're not just wasting your time in the world. So and that's based on your opponent as well. So the more difficult opponent, the more experience you get. And in tournaments, you can win money. There we go. I'm going to have to whack this guy right off his horse. Oh, I got him. There we go. I got my first points. Hopefully, that was a little more than a glance. We'll find out here. It tells you your points and your total points when you get back to the beginning of the list. Ah, this is a more clever than he was led to believe. Okay, so there you go. And you can see it down at the bottom here in yellow. One point awarded, total points one. So I've only glanced them that time. That's all I've done so far. After this many passes, that's not very good. So I'm going to aim at his helmet here. And I'm going to hold my shield low. I don't get any bonuses on strategy for targeting his helmet. But if I hit him in the helmet... Oh, there we go. Oh! That was probably close to a dismount. There we go. A salute. And he gave me the evil eye there. Okay, so I only got one more point. So two points total. That's two glances is all I've uh, connected with so far. Go back to shield high. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he buried me. So he just got, oh, yep, five points for dismount. So he's at nine. He only needs one single point now, and it's over. Tells me I should probably go back and train some more there. <laughs> okay, you're going down, buddy. Uh, I'm going to go for Dexter Chief. Steady seat. Here we go. Come on, come on. Nine to two. This ain't very good. I need a huge hit here. Huge hit. Oh, we that's super rare. Twice in one bout. Awesome. Death will be the least of your worries if you anger me. 
Ryan's getting pissed off now, so. <laughs> it's because he got no points. <laughs> shield Fest Pale and Shield High. Okay, here we go. This is a great bout, a very long one, so a good one to have on film. They usually don't last this long. They usually you've been defeated quickly. Oh, I got another point. Yes. Right on. I'm creeping up there. I'm surviving. Okay. So I got three points now, as you can see down there. Hit him on a shield base, and I'm gonna hold my shield high. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he got me. So the bout is over now, which you'll see. So there you go. Your opponent has scored a total of 11 points, and that's the end of the bout when that happens. Yeah, yeah. I guess he was right. <laughs> Anyway, you'll see what happens now at the end of the boat. A new dialogue pops up. The boat is over. You may proceed away from the list. Okay, so that's it. And he does exactly as he was told. He proceeds away from the list, and he's gone over to hang out with the other knights, or wherever he's off to. So that's the end of that. And then after that, you can go back and talk to the trumpeter again and set up another match if you like, and play as much as you like. So... Uh, there's really no limits on that right now. Okay. Um, the rules online has a big jousting sign at the end of the list, and you can go down there and read all the rules of the joust and learn all about it and learn how to compete at a high level. Uh, you can go into uh, online. There's, I think it's in here too. Let's see here. Uh, where are we at? All right, around here for a second. I'm not sure if I put that in here or not. Anyway, there's a jousting tent online. And you can go in that jousting tent. Yeah, I don't I don't have it here, I don't think. Yeah. Anyway, there's a jousting tent online. You can go in there and there's a gentleman who supplies jousting armor, uh, various weapons. Uh, you can buy a uh, lance if you want. Uh, you can sell equipment there if you want, uh, that kind of stuff. And you can purchase a horse in town at the stables back in uh, the main part of Agoria. So that's where that's the, uh, that's where all this happens is in Agoria. That's the capital city of Bryn. Uh, you start in Elspur in the game. So if you're new to the server, you're a long ways from Agoria when you start. Uh, there's various ways of traveling there. You can travel down the road the hard way and go on foot, <laughs> or buy a horse in Elspur and ride out your way all the way to Agoria. Or you can uh, hitch a wagon ride with the Teamster. Uh, he charges a little bit of money, but it gets you safely there. You won't have any issues. Or you can go to the Mage Tower and uh, go visit Phaloth and go to his teleporter. And that costs the most amount of money, but it's instant and teleports you from. Usually from one Mage School to another, or a Mage Tower to a Mage School, or vice versa. Anyway, uh, this is a lot of fun. Uh, jousting is one of going to be probably one of the premier things that you'll see online, and it's multiplayer compatible, so people can sit there and watch you joust, and it's uh, it's pretty cool to uh, compete in. And uh, we're also going to have eventually, I'll have some fans and stuff up here in the in the jousting stands and cheering people on and whatnot. That'll be fun. So anyway, enjoy yourself. Until uh, next time, we'll see you online. Bye bye.